Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode of Too Small, the show in which we take an average everyday build and say, hey, that's far too small, how about we make it 10 times bigger? And this episode is absolutely no exception, in this one we are going to be taking a look at the industrial music disc farm. Now for those of you who don't know, if a skeleton kills a creeper using one of his arrows, then that creeper will be dropping a music disc. Now we're using this game mechanic to our advantage to create an insane farm that produces a huge number of records, so let's take a closer look. I guess the first thing that I should do in today's video is show you how to use this thing. So the first thing that you've got to do is set yourself into survival mode, then walk around that little glass wall and stand behind the fence. Now as you can see out the back, we have got ourselves a handful of skeletons, then in front of those skeletons, we have got ourselves a little fenced off area that gradually fills up with creepers. Now these creepers that spawn up at the top in the mob spawner, they then travel down all of the water streams, go into the mob sorter, which then sorts all of the creepers out and drop them down into this section. Now the skeletons are trying their hardest to shoot me with all their arrows, but sadly there's a bunch of creepers in the way, which means that the creepers get here instead, they end up dying, dropping their music discs down into the hoppers, which then travel across and into a set of double chests. Now you would be seriously surprised by how fast these double chests fill up. In three and a half minutes of standing there, I managed to get myself just over a double chest and a half of records, which I would say is really quite impressive. Now this build is essentially constructed of three different elements. We have got ourselves the mob spawner, the mob sorter, and also the killing chamber. And I'll try my best to explain all of these in detail as I go down. So first off, let's get things started with the mob spawner itself. And I'm sure a lot of you recognize this design. I built it in Hermitcraft Series 2, Hermitcraft Series 3, and I've also done a tutorial on how to build it on my channel. I'll put a link to that one down in the description. But it's a fairly simple design that uses water streams to push all of the mobs off of all the spawning platforms that then fall down the middle here and land in this water stream section which takes them over into the mob sorter. Sadly I cannot lay claim to this section of the design. The mob sorter wasn't built by me, it was in fact constructed by a chap who goes by the name of AlexW9988 and if you do want to see how to build this thing then I'll put a link to the tutorial down in the description because not only is the video extremely good and the tutorial extremely clear but the design itself is absolutely fantastic, it's very accurate and it doesn't use any redstone whatsoever which I would say is really quite impressive. But finally, heading down to the bottom section now, you all know what goes on here, I stand there, the creepers are there and then the skeletons are over here. Nothing too much to explain it in that department but if we just head down to the bottom you can see that we have got ourselves tons upon tons of music discs and that's all that matters. For those of you who want to take a closer look at the redstone behind this thing or perhaps want to play around with it yourself then as always there is a well download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. But unfortunately ladies and gentlemen that is all I've got time for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did please be sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys this has been Mumbo and I'm out, I'll see you later.